Hi, I'm here with Steve Williams at Tube Rhineland. Steve, can you tell us a little about yourself? Sure, Hope. I'm the technical manager here at TV Rhineland, and in more practical terms, I'm the keeper of the gauntlet known as the product safety approval process. We know that you've worked on both sides of the compliance fence. Where do you see the disconnect? The disconnect comes in terms of expectations. Both sides have a certain expectation about the outcomes in the lab. So the manufacturer and the R&D groups will have an expectation that, hey, uh, everything's great, we're going to go in the lab, a couple of quick verification tests, and we have approval. The lab, on the other hand, has the expectation that there's probably going to be test failures, there could be design failures, or there could be missing documentation, all things which get in the way of getting to an actual certification. Uh, the goal is to bridge that disconnect in terms of expectations between both groups. And the sooner that we can all talk together, the better the outcomes. And from your experience on the manufacturer side, where's the disconnect with compliance and product management? The disconnect comes in terms of scheduling. Uh, product management and program managers are always on a tight schedule trying to get their product to market. And oftentimes they don't leave sufficient time in the schedule to do the compliance testing. Now, there's a reality that the time to market has to be quicker than ever before. So, the way you can mitigate that is by having compliance involved early and often. You can't change the time that you have to do the program, but you can change the time in which you engage with the lab such that that narrow window at the end is easily easy to fit into because you've done all these steps ahead of time such that the trip to the lab is more of a verification process. Procurement is increasingly involved in selection of suppliers across the board, including compliance. What should procurement officers look at besides price? Well, it goes back to the engaging early. Uh, a lot of labs can offer you a really, really low price, but they're very turnkey and they can't give you those services up front. Uh, procurement should be looking for a lab that's willing to partner with their development teams to help make sure that the trip to the lab at the end, when you're anxious to release product, goes as smoothly as possible.